Well, I think all of you know that I feel so strongly about the community that we have here, uh, that Stuart and I and all of you share a real personal relationship. And I cannot tell you how special that is to me. And I hope and I feel that it must be special to you as well. And emblematic of that, or I want to show you some of the things that I have received just recently. Look at this. This is a watercolor print on canvas, um, or I, I'm assuming it's watercolor. Isn't that beautiful of the cottage? Can you see that, Stuart? Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that Stuart was saying that someone would take the time and exercise their talent to not only produce something like this, but then mail it and yeah. get it to us, have it, have it actually produced and created on canvas is such a special thing. It's appreciated. Yeah. It's very much appreciated. And I would love to do a shout out, but this arrived and I don't know who sent it. Um, I looked through all of the packaging. I looked everywhere. I looked on the return label and all I got was just an address. So I'm not sure who sent it. So if you're watching this, please, please let me know. And again, that is just emblematic of some of the things that I get with regularity. I mean, look, look at this brilliant package my friend Jan put together. Uh, she is someone that I have become great friends with through social media, through YouTube. And look what she sent me this week. This is a switch plate. Oh, wow. Is that not incredible? Of, of yes, a switch plate of glass, and you can can you see that it's topiaries? Well, yeah, that's cool. She, it's she did topiaries. That's creative. Yeah. I mean, Jan, darling, you know I love you, and I and I just love you because so neat. just because you're so creative and special to me. Um, but I want to also show you a sample since this is let's get personal. Stuart said, oh my gosh, <laughs> all of these people sent you pictures and cards. And I said, oh, Stuart, this is just a sampling. This is just a few of the cards and messages and letters and photographs and kind words with just beautifully designed and, and address uh, envelopes. I just cannot tell you how dear that is to me. How many messages you sent me, um, housewarming notes and cards. And I just can't tell you what that means to me because it makes me feel important. And I think for me, getting personal here, when you're one of 10 kids, you sometimes feel like you don't really stand out from the crowd. Um, and so the fact that you guys make me feel so seen and so important to you, well, it just touches my heart in a way that you can never know. So I feel compelled to kind of get personal with you because I think many of you know that I was in Virginia last week. We went on vacation for a wedding of my son's roommate from college at UVA. We had an absolutely brilliant time. I got to connect with some social media friends there with my friend Brian Branton on Instagram with Leslie Harris. If you haven't watched her amazing garden video, you must. Mm -hmm. And it was so fun to really personally touch and hug these people that I have only known virtually over these past few years, but nevertheless felt a real connection with, as I do with all of you. So, um, so I went away for a week and I think Stuart and, and my team really did a great job in handling some things while I was gone. So I wanna give you a little bit of behind the scenes of how Stuart and I work together, how our team works, and then address something that uh, disturbed me a little bit that came up while I was gone, because I think it always helps to shed light on things and provide a, a little bit of clarity. So when I talk about my team, I think sometimes, and, and all YouTubers, we, everybody works differently. Um, 
some have huge staffs, some have just massive organizations behind them, and then some of them are just tiny little what I call small businesses. Would you mm -hmm. is that what you call us, Stuart? Um, and so we're just a small business. It's Stuart and uh, and me and. Phoebe used to be Carrie, who, who left to go work for Garden Media, and now Leah, who has come in to help us out, as does Phoebe, both of whom help on a part-time basis to kind of keep all of the wheels grinding and help with some of the details of what can be a pretty overwhelming job when we're putting up three to four videos a week and trying to do Instagram and commute and communicate with you as frequently as we should. And I know, and it's something that Stuart and I don't take lightly. No, we, yeah. yeah, so jump in here whenever. We okay. <laughs> feel, yeah, we feel that we make a commitment to you guys to show up uh, because as we discovered during COVID, uh, so many people really rely on YouTube for company and for just a smile and maybe for just a little cheering up. So we take that very seriously. Very so I, we serious. try not to go without posting, even when I am gone. So that's, that's kind of what leads up to this. But before I go into that a little bit, I want to talk about something that Stuart and I have really, it is, a, it is an ever evolving thing and it sounds kind of grandiose, but my background is I have an MBA. So my background is business and business communications. And that is Stuart and I have a mission statement. We have a mission statement for this channel. And we, I would say with almost every video we produce that we talk about what we consider really crucial to our mission statement and are we living up to our mission statement. So for example, some of the things that are in our mission statement are, I've often referred to myself as being a garden evangelist or an ambassador for garden-based lifestyle and garden-based living. And I take that very important, uh, very as a very important thing. And I try to live that in, in my life because I think it is so important. So consequently, I get, I get confused when I, when sometimes there's comments that say, well, I think Linda's just, trying to reach out to a younger audience or she's trying to reach a younger demographic and to which I would heartily say, oh my goodness, yes, yeah, absolutely. because, <laughs> because get, living Not a garden, that, but yeah. yeah, living a garden inspired life has given me so much joy as it does to you that yes, we want to shout it from the rooftops of how life enhancing it can be, how it helps our mental well-being, how it's a way to form companionships and community and make friends. But also, as Leslie and I talked about at some length when we got together, that sadly, the gardening community, the gardening demographic definitely skews older. And you can see that when you attend uh, gardening conventions, garden talks, garden symposiums. And, and it's wonderful. And it's wonderful, <laughs> but we also want to yeah. make sure that we get the message out and that we recruit, <laughs> if you will, um, younger people and we expose them to the wonders that is living a garden inspired life. So if it sometimes seems as it kind of doesn't resonate with you or whatever, because it may seem too youthful or, or something along those lines, um, I, 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 I guess I won't apologize for that because I will do, um, well, not everything, <laughs> <laughs> but I will do a lot of things to appeal to the broadest base that I can because gardening is important. And that is something that I have, I used to kind of think that what I did was rather superficial. I'm getting personal again here. And it just wasn't really that important until some of you started communicating with us on a very, very 
personal basis. In fact, just this week I got two emails. Someone uh, who told me that they had been struggling with MS and that they have started gardening and how valuable it was in their life. And someone else who during COVID was really going through a very difficult time, lost their job completely through gardening turned their life around, um, lost 75 pounds, got healthy. And, and that's not me, folks. That is the power of gardening yeah. and the power of getting out there and digging in the dirt and just seeing how gratifying and for fulfilling it can be. So, and yes. And getting that message out. Is, and is, getting so that important. message out, whether it's through. I mean, it's uh, obviously important, right? Like you just said, all these messages coming in, it's helping so many people. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, oh, it's, yes. We weren't even trying to yeah. do it. Yeah, and, it and we, I wasn't, and yeah, I wasn't even, <laughs> we weren't even trying to do it. But now it is so, it is so <laughs> much no, part of, too. I guess, the second part of our mission statement. And that is to be there for you. And I... I firmly believe that that kindness is important and listening to others if they are communicating in a civil way <laughs> is is important and taking other people's viewpoints is really important and hopefully you have recognized that some people say gosh Linda I can't believe you're so not defensive when people make recommendations or they say they don't like something. And that's because I know there's many forms of beauty. And I also know that I am not always right and that maybe my way could be good, but another way could be better. And my goodness, if I can learn from that, open -mindedness. then open -mindedness. I want to be open-minded and I want to enhance my life. And if I can in any way exploit you <laughs> to come up with better ideas than I have, or teach me something that I don't know, then who am I to be self-defensive well, about a, that? as much a member of the community as they yeah, are just Yeah, I'm yeah. just out here, I, as I've said often, I'm just an amateur gardener. I'm not even a master gardener like so many of you. And so so I'm, I'm not, I, I wouldn't say that I'm very defensive when you guys make comments because they're so they are so spot on. That, that being said, if, if, if the tone, and 99.9% .9 of the time, the tone is just lovely. But in this last, when, we, when I was gone and I had Leah pinch hit for me, as I asked her to do, because I thought it would be fun, and that leads me to another, I'm, I'm jumping around here, <laughs> but that leads me another to another thing in our mission statement, and that is to communicate what I would like to see myself. And so I think a lot of times, I, I get excited about something and I want to share it with you, whether it's a product, <laughs> whether it is a garden, whether it is a cute way to dress, whether it's thrifting. And if I want to see that kind of stuff, then I want to share it with you because we're all so much alike that I figure if I like it, you might like it too. So I was a little bit, um, I was a little bit confused by so many people who took it, I guess, rather personally. Um, that somebody else came on instead of me on Saturday while I was gone. Um, I didn't understand it. But, but quite frankly, I think without intending to, some of the comments were a little bit hurtful. And when I say that, not so much to me, but to some of the members of my team. And I don't think it was intentional. I think it was just, um, well, as I, let me put it this way. As I was t trying to come to grips and understand uh, some of your points of view, I, as I'm still reading, I talked to you about this marvelous book. I read a quote and it just really resonated with me. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is it. This is it. And that quote was, life is about rhythm. We vibrate, our hearts are pumping blood. We are a rhythm machine. That's what we are. And I think, and by the way, that was a quotation from Mickey Hart. Remember that is, I'm not really sure, but thank you, Mickey. Um, and I think that that was the problem that somehow the rhythm got disrupted and I think it was jolting to some of you. And I'm, I, you know, I'm, I don't want to sound even defensive about that because I'm not going to apologize for that because we're just 
Yeah, we're trying. Well, yeah. We're just yeah. plugging along here, doing the best but we can. That's a great understanding of the other side. Of the, yeah, the, the other side is, and it, and we're good. very very busy, and so. Uh, but I I know Leah, she's darling, and I cannot wait to show you and style some of the things that she got. And as an example of why I want to show you what I want to see. I learned things myself from watching that because I've told you about, oh, this is how I shop for certain categories. I shop for things that are metallic. I shop for baskets. I shop for um, anything that can be used in a floral arrangement. Well, now I have a couple of new categories. I'm now shopping for things that are 100% cotton <laughs> or 100% linen, whereas before I was just looking through the lens of style, and now I'm looking through that lens of um, natural materials and things. So thank you, Leah, for that. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there and, and say that I, I recognize that it disrupted the rhythm of your life, but sometimes that sometimes that you know that happens, and and we there's we're not a huge team, and so if we if I forget links <laughs> or for we. or Stuart forgets to post a still or whatever, it's because we're doing this all ourselves in addition to, in my case, starting and maintaining a garden and Stuart's running a photography business and dealing with family members and, and just- And living life, man. And living life, doing we our laundry. doing all this, it's great. <laughs> it's just, yeah. So I just wanted to clarify that a little bit. And also, I guess if you felt like I hadn't adequately introduced Leah, introduce you to her because she knows far more about some of the complexities of the, of the behind the scenes stuff that is social media. Yeah, she's, that, been, she's been a really good addition to yeah, the team. And, 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 so, so, and, and Phoebe too. So Phoebe will be handling more. You guys know Phoebe a little bit. Yeah, the gardening yeah. dimension. So I, wanted to, um, so I wanted to give her a shout out, but also clarify that a little bit. Um, let me see what, and I also wrote them down so I wouldn't forget, oh, something else in our mission statement that we talk about frequently, which also alludes to the members of our team and people that we work with. Um, so some people think, oh, well, you know, oh, Linda, sometimes it seems like you're showing too many products are getting too commercial. Well, if, if that is the case, then I am doing it because that again is something I want to see. If somebody gives me or shows me a problem solver that will make my life easier, I want to know about it. And please, in the comments, put things that have made your life easier that are products, whether you get them at a thrift store, whether you get them at a local store, whether you get them from Amazon, I'm, I don't care. But if it will make my life easier, please. <laughs> please let me know because that's how I'm trying to really spend my money these days on not so much more things as life that will make my life easier and make my life more beautiful, which is another kind of mission of this channel is to enhance the quality and the ease of all of our lives. Um, and in the process, we hope to maybe elevate the recognition, the exposure, the number of eyeballs that go onto small businesses or even large businesses that we are That's passionate perfect, about. Yeah. And so it thrills me that through our little business that we have here, that we have a, been able to employ some people in our local community, not just the people that you are on our team, yeah. but we contract out things and it helps us find places and give exposure to small businesses in the Oklahoma City community, which is why I want to go to places like Plant People or Plenty Mercantile yeah, or a date with Iris or some of our, or um, Antique Avenue or Mockingbird Manor because I, Oklahoma City is a really great place. And part of the things that make it great are some of these wonderful places that you can go to when you come and visit the city. And so many of you do come to Oklahoma City and you visit those places and you let them know that, um, that you found them through Stuart and myself, which is another mission we have. And that is to not only be an ambassador for 
for garden inspired living, but for our community as well, for Oklahoma City, for the state of Oklahoma, for the people that live here and for the really wonderful community that we want to share with, with others and to raise people up, raise their small businesses up, their small crafts. Um, here's another shout out to my friend Janet Hungry Holler because you need to find her on Etsy because she does incredible, incredible work. Um, and so that's another mission statement that we have. Um, and then maybe, maybe lastly, and perhaps most importantly, and I, we referred to it at the beginning, and that is to establish a place of understanding and tolerance and not critical. People are welcome here. Um, we want, I want you to feel like Very you can comment yeah. on something, even if it's, it doesn't agree with me, as long as it's done in a civil way, because civil discourse is just something that is in short supply right now. It's incredibly needed. And, um, and I just think that a message, even if it is not consonant with your thinking, a message that is conveyed in a loving civil tone is far better received, I think, a spoon with, you know, with a spoonful of sugar. Well, yeah, and the beautiful than, thing about our channel is it's about gardening and not anything else that causes all these yeah, problems. Yeah, but, 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 but in a way it is, it is because so many of you have, 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 as I've become personal with you, I think you become personal with me and you share so many of your stories. And so many of you, of you I know found our channel through during COVID. Yeah. or found our channel um, after a terrible apocalyptic weather event here in Oklahoma. Um, when we all felt like we really needed a sense of community and it makes, uh, I don't know if it's schadenfreude or whatever, but, but y you want to know in some ways that other people are suffering along with you um, or, or are lonely that's it. Uh, with you. And in fact, the Surgeon General has also said that loneliness is just really, really a public health crisis right now. So to the extent that Stuart and myself can make you feel a little bit less lonely um, or as if even if it's virtually that somebody is listening to you, then then we want to be able to do that. Um, and then I'm going to, I guess, just kind of close with a personal note of, <laughs> of guilt that I feel so guilty when I cannot personally respond to every gracious gesture to all of your notes, to all of your messages that I get through Instagram, through DM, through Messenger, um, in my mailbox, people that drop by that send us gifts that, um, <laughs> that I was, I told Stuart when I was in Virginia, I walked into a fabulous nursery, Ivy, Ivy Nursery, and I will be sharing some, um, some imagery from that nursery in Charlottesville that Leslie told me about. Oh my gosh, incredible. And the first person that I, when I walked in, the first person to address me was a lovely woman who's, who said, are you from Oklahoma? <laughs> And I said, well, yes. And she yes. said, are you Linda Botter? And I said, well, yes. She goes, oh, I watch you on my YouTube channel. My daughter lives in Norman. And, and what was really funny to me, Stuart, was she recognized me from behind. So I told her, I said, so you no doubt recognized me from my misbehaving cowlick in the back or the duck foot way that, that I walk. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a giveaway because I walk like yeah I walk like a duck and my hair looks like a muddy mess. Um, so anyhow, however you approach me, I am touched. I'm touched by the number of people who come by the cottage from all around the world. I'm touched by your kind messages, and if in some way I can't always respond personally in kind please know that it means the world to me and that I read all of your, all of your, your letters that are sometimes, uh, that are sometimes pages long because you want to share with me the loss of a loved one or a health crisis or something personal that you go through. And reading them for me is a form of prayer. 
So I just wanted to thank you for that. I wanted to get personal for a moment and let you know how much this community means to me and that Stuart and I do not take you for granted. If we make, if we make missteps or, <laughs> or we're not always polite or whatever, it's because we're just human. Yep, uh, we're, trying. <laughs> we're, we're just trying. Yeah, we're just, we're just out there living our best life, trying to share and reinforce the loveliness that is this community. Thank you guys. Love you. And we will see you back um, for a Wednesday walkabout, I think, yep, Stuart. Yep, My first Wednesday walkabout as I return from my trip. Bye.